Hey, everybody. It's Michael Fisher with PocketNow.com. I just recently ran to catch the FedEx man, the delivery truck outside my apartment. I came up on my front door. He was driving away. I ran about two blocks, which for me is like a mini marathon. I don't like running. Anyway, I caught him. I was glad that he stopped because in his truck he had for me the Motorola Q, Photon Q, 4G LTE, So many words, I can't even get them in their right order. This is the latest LTE device from Sprint. It is also, so far, the only LTE device from Sprint with a physical QWERTY keyboard. So uh, we're going to have a review later on, but for right now, we want to pop open the box, show you what's inside. So let's take a look. So starting with the packaging here, Sprint has been on this kick for a while where they are super green and they want to make sure everyone knows just how green they are. So this is uh, packaging that is 100% recyclable, as it tells you right there. Also gives you a little bit of uh, information on the device, which is kind of split on that corner there. Uh, It's a 4G LTE device, obviously, with a 4.3-inch color boost display. Uh, optimized with smart actions like we found on the Razer, Razer Max, the Atrix, and so on. 8 megapixel HD camera. And here's the insanely long product name down below. Down here, not much going on. There's a little QR code you can scan if you want to. This is trademark stuff. That's numbers that you don't need to see. And some more feature callouts on the back. Pop open the device here. Device is front and center, which is always very, very nice to see. Kind of a standard thing these days. We'll take it out. Wow. I forget how thick these devices can be when they have a sliding keyboard. That was uh, that was a, an interesting surprise. Cool. Let's put this aside for a second. Pop this open here. We have a get started guide. Not much new and exciting about that. USB cable and wall adapter. Aside from that, nothing else in the box. We can go ahead and put that aside. Coming back to the device here. This is uh, information about location privacy here on the screen protector. Let's see, let's take a little hardware tour before we open her up. On the left side of the device, this is the micro USB port and the HDMI out jack. Nothing on the bottom. On the right hand side, looks like we've got the dedicated camera key, as well as an opening hatch here that does what? Micro SD. Close that back up. Volume down, volume up. On top, looks like the power button there. Headphone jack. On the back here, 8 megapixel camera with flash. Motorola logo here. Speakerphone grill down on the bottom. Aside from that, not much else going on. Let's rotate the phone and, yep, we got it going the right way. And there is that first LTE physical keyboard on Sprint with laser etched keys we are told, or laser cut keys, rather. They seem to have pretty good travel. How they feel great. Very interesting to be using a physical keyboard after so long on touchscreens only, with, once again, a dedicated number row up top. Close it up. We'll take it out. We'll give it a boot in just one second. Okay, we just wanted to make sure I had the battery in there. Now we're going to give it a boot test. Here we go. Press and hold. We should get the Motorola logo, and there it is. Let's go ahead and get this screen protector out of here. I just trimmed my nails for this video, so I don't know if I have the the tools necessary to... I actually might not be able to get this screen protector off here. There we go. That's a beautiful thing. There that goes, and it's gone. We should get the carrier splash screen here in a second once the Motorola logo is done doing its little flashy thing. One interesting point, this is a 1.3 megapixel front-facing camera up top, but it does shoot in uh, 720p HD. So that's nice. It's not something you see all the time. Don't know how well that performs, but we'll find out uh, during our review. And there's the welcome screen there, Android, ready for us to set it up and ready for me to use my first phone with a physical keyboard in quite a while. We're going to have lots more on this device in the coming days, including a review probably early next week, so keep it uh, locked to pocketnow.com. You can leave a comment there on the post at Pocketnow if you have something to say about this unboxing. Throw us a thumbs up here on YouTube if you liked the video. You can follow us on Twitter at PocketnowTweets. You can follow me on Twitter at at CaptainTwoPhones. That's at Captain, the number two, phones. And uh, please do stay tuned for more coverage on the Motorola Photon Q 4G LTE. Thanks very much for watching. We'll see you next time.